Shalom guest. That's Amen. Let's clap our hands. Amen. 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 Started. I just want to ask for a couple of uh, uh, prayer requests. Pray for Brother Kevin Hughes. Mm -hmm. I mean, Brother Kevin Hughes was in a car accident and totaled his car. Oh no! But uh, he just left the hospital. He's just banged up. But uh, he's uh, somebody hit him access. What he told me. Well, that's good. So we're gonna pray for him. We're gonna pray for uh, Sister. Sister Sarah. Yeah, little Sarah, yeah. young Sarah, yes, sir. the girl that back at the the church. Mm -hmm. she, come, she was in a car accident. Oh my goodness. And, uh, she was in a car accident and she got stitches over her eye and things like that. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. And so we we'll keep them in prayer. Keep Sister Beverly in prayer. She was taken, she had her son take her to the emergency room. She just had this type of pain in her in her leg and numbness in her leg and hip. And so we we'll want to keep her in prayer as well. Amen. In the name of the Lord. Amen. And so, uh, come on in, Sister Melissa, as we stand and go into prayer Amen. and ask God to touch us on tonight. Amen. Come on in, Sister Keisha Cannon, Sister Teresa, as we go into prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we just thank you on tonight. Lord, we lift you up and give yes, you glory. God, thank you. God, we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. that you move you, upon Jesus. our hearts, that you move upon our minds Jesus. as we give honor Amen. and glory unto you. Amen. We ask, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you would touch those, Lord God, who I placed upon the prayer line, that you would bless them and strengthen them in the name of the Lord. We ask, God, you will part your spirit even on the Bible study on tonight. God, give us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we need in the name of the Lord to follow you. Cause us, God, to draw nigh unto you, and you said you would draw nigh unto us. Father, we thank you, even in advance, how you gave us safe travel and mercy. Blessed us to come over the dangerous highways and byways. We made it back once again to the house of God. Thank you, now, God, we ask that you bless those who are watching yes, my Facebook God. live. Hallelujah. God, Hallelujah. that you would touch them, enrich them, yes. pour out your yes. spirit upon them in the name oh, of the Lord. Yes. Father, we thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that you would bless us on tonight. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Jesus, Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. As we honor the Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thankful. Amen unto God for where we're at. Last week, we talked about uh, one of the stages of obedience. We talked about and we discussed that obedience is better than sacrifice. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah. You must obey God and obey his word. Amen. Obeying God. Amen. And uh, we went back to the book of uh, Genesis. Uh -huh. And we found that as a result in the book of Genesis, before uh, Adam uh, had gotten even Eve, that he was walking up right before the Lord and there were some things that he was blessed with yes, sir. as a result of his obedience to God. And then, amen, he fell into disobedience. And as a result of his disobedience, there's some things that came to him as a result of his disobedience amen. to God. Yes. Amen. Number one, amen, he lost his um, connection with God. He lost his power. And, amen, he was thrown out of the garden. His yes. first eviction yes. in the Bible. Amen. First eviction. First eviction yes. in mankind happened yes, to Adam. Mm -hmm. Adam yeah. was evicted. <laughs> amen. He had to go. <laughs> amen. Another one of the things was that the earth would yield up his fruit. Amen. As a result of his punishment, he had to work from the sweat of yes, his brow. Yes. Yeah. Amen. The land didn't yield. Thorn and thistles is what the land began to yield. Amen. And so uh, there is a reward for obedience. And there is reward for disobedience. Yes. Amen. Yes. The Lord is still required for obedience. That's right. We, saw, we talked about what happened to King Saul. Oh, King God. Saul uh, disobeyed God one time. What does King Saul do? Anybody tell me? Yeah. Real quickly. He didn't kill everything oh, yeah. that he commanded. Yes. He commanded him to kill, amen, uh, all the kings, all the people, everything. And God said to kill it all. All the animals. Yeah. And he kept one king alive, yeah. and then he kept the best, the best of, of the things for himself. Yeah. Amen. And then uh, God didn't give him no more chance. Uh -uh. He disobeyed him one time uh -huh. and he took the kingdom from him. Yes, sir. In the name of the Lord. That's the same God that we're serving today. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so that's why it's better to obey God that's right. than to offer uh, sacrifices of Amen. food. 
Amen. It's better to obey God. You can, you can pour all your money that you have from here to eternity in the church, but disobey God. Yes, Amen. 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 And God is not blessing anything that you do. Yep. Right? Amen. God wants the people to obey Him. So tonight we're going to look at we looked at obeying God, and we're going. Everything is intertwined within itself. Amen. Now, a lot of times, one of the scriptures I read last week was. He would not withhold no good thing from them that walk it right before. That's right. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And so if we're pressing through life and it seems like that we can't get to where we want to be or get what uh -huh. we need from God, could it be that we're walking in these stages of, of disobedience instead of obedience? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a list of how we are to obey these things. And then you have to click in your mind, am I obedient, am I disobedient? Because it could be the difference of you being victorious or you being defeated. Yes, sir. In the name of the Lord. We must live victorious lives. As Amen. 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 And so we talked about obeying God today. We're going to talk about obeying God's word. Amen. You can't separate God from his word. Right? Oh, no. If you're going to obey God, then you're going to God obey God's word. word. God. You can't Amen. obey God and not obey God's no. word. Right? You can't Amen. obey God's word and not obey God. That's right. Right? Because the two are the same. So, right. amen, in the book of uh, John, the Gospel of St. John, chapter 1, Sister Sierra, verses 1 and 2. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. Yes, thank you. Amen. And so, when you obey God's Word, you obey in God. Both His written Word and his spoken word. Amen. God's word is both written and it is spoken. Jesus said, isn't my word spirit and it's life? And so you have to obey not only God's written word, but God's word when it's spoken. Yes, That's another level of one of the stages. We'll get to that, Lord willing, next week. Another stage of obedience. Amen. And so, amen, in the Old Testament, God uh, wrote the Ten Commandments with his finger yes, sir. on tablets of stone. Uh -huh. God wrote with his finger. Yes. Man. And then Moses, before he got down to the end of the mount, <laughs> the people had already sinned. Sure and is. Moses, out of his anger, threw the tablets down and broke yeah, them. Yeah, his anger. So God summoned Moses up in the mountain. For 40 more days. That's right. We'll redo it. This time, Moses had to carry his own tablets. <laughs> and Moses had to write yeah. himself. Yeah. God made Moses chisel out. That's right. Yeah. But he wrote it with his finger. Yeah. Right? Because the people had disobeyed God while Moses was in the mounts before even the commandments were even dry on the tablets. They had already committed what? Sin. What sin Idols. did they commit? Idolatry. 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 Yeah. What did they do? They made a golden cat. Yeah. Made a golden cat. Yeah. Amen. Made a golden cat. And so God is always required for his people to be obedient. Amen. And so um, they are, most people just focus on the Ten Commandments. Right? The Ten Commandments, but they were actually 613 laws that God wrote. 613 laws that he gave to Moses that the people had to obey. 613. Amen. God, that's a good question. Wow. Statue, 613. Most people just concentrate on the Ten Commandments, yeah, yeah. but it was more than the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Right? Yes. Way more than the Ten Commandments. Yes. Amen. And, uh... Well, it's 603. If you failed... I love how the scripture... If you failed one of those uh, laws or those statutes, your sentence was to be stoned to death. Mm -hmm. Of the law. You die as a result. Mm -hmm. So, Sister, um... Um, Latasha, in the book of Exodus chapter 19 and verse 5, the book of Exodus I want you to hear God in the book of Exodus book of Exodus what would be the chief 
reason, the book of Exodus, chapter 19, and verse 5. What would be the chief reason somebody would want to obey? They're already sinning. <laughs> Why would somebody want to obey something? You who have pride, children. Pride. Why, what, what, somebody said pride. Why would your children want to obey? They wouldn't do what they want to do. They want to do what they want to do. Yeah. <laughs> Some people don't have no organizational structure that age structure. Uh, in the book of Exodus, chapter 19 and verse 5, won't you listen to this? Now yeah. therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. In verse number 6. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Go to 7 and 8 while you at it. And Moses came and called for the elders of the people and laid before their faces all these words which the Lord commanded him. And all the people answered together and said, All that the Lord has spoken we will do. Mm -hmm. And Moses returned the words of the people unto the Lord. Yes, I wanted you to read that because Amen. I wanted you to see that God still command mm -hmm. the people. Yes. The same God commanded the people yes, to obey his voice. Yep. Amen. Amen. And to keep his covenant. And you shall be a particular treasure unto me above all the people yes. of the earth is mine. And you shall be unto me kingdoms of priests and a holy nation. I want you to underline those words. You shall be a particular treasure above all people. And you should be to me kings and priests yes, in a sir. holy nation. These are the words that he spoke to them, right? Mm -hmm. Children of Israel. Now, he spoke it to the children of Israel under the law of Moses. And he says unto them, here's what the people said, just like we said. Here's what the people said. Amen. Here's what the people said. And uh, Moses told the people what the Lord says, right? And the people answered and said, all that the Lord has spoken. We're going to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Right? That sound familiar to some of y'all? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We're going to do it. The Lord told me to do it. We're going to do it. All that you say, Lord, we're going to do. And Moses went back and told the Lord Amen. that the people understand and they say they're going to do it. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna do it all right. <laughs> yeah. Boy, they do it. Yeah, Lord, they hear you. They, they say they understand. Oh yeah. They heard what you said, and they, they yeah. agree that they're gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Patience ran out short. Yeah. 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 We're gonna we're gonna see how long the people took for the people to do what they're gonna do. Not even before they said that they nope. were gonna do it. They were already into something else. That's yeah. right. They're not to sound familiar to some of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to yeah. do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. <laughs> I will do it. Yes, I'm going to do it. I sure oh, yeah. will do it. Uh, sure. Uh, <laughs> don't hold your breath. <laughs> and as soon as three or four minutes go by, you ain't doing nothing. <laughs> So the Bible says, to him to know if to do good do and do it not, to them is what? Sin. Sin, sin. sin, sin, sin. To them to know to do good yeah. and do it not, to you is sin. That's right. Yes, sir. Let me give you just a quick example. If the Bible says, let not no corrupt communication come forth out of your mouth, yeah. but that which is holy and pleasing unto the Lord. Yeah. And if you utter something out of your mouth other than that which is holy unto the Lord, you know better and to you is sin. So then you're willfully sin. sinning. Yes. Oh, it's quiet in here now. Let me Come on, go on. <laughs> You're willfully <laughs> sinning. Because you know better. Uh -huh. Right. You know better. Yes. And to know better and to do something you know not to do, that you know better, you are sin. In other words, yeah. you know what you do. That's right. What if you do it by accident? What is it my excuse? It's just an excuse. <laughs> For him to know to do good and do it not. I tell you what, let, let me ask you this by accident. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this by accident. Since you said by accident. I got it. Let me ask you this. Have uh Talia or or uh your son Jeremiah ever did something by accident and you beat him? Oh, oh, got him. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. 
Got it. 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 Got you Got it. 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 You just get a beating. <laughs> you, you, you just get a beating. So you have to choose your words. You at home, work, or whatever. Yes, the Bible says, let no corrupt communication come out of your mouth. Right. But that only that is for edifying. Yeah. Right? The Bible says this. Can a fountain bring forth both sweet water, both salt water? A fountain can't bring both salt and sweet water. Yeah. Oh, man. Right? <laughs> right. You, 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 a fountain can't do the same thing. Yeah. You let the fountain be good or let it be bad. That's right. It's going to be one or the other. That's good, Pastor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, a lot of our lives, are surrounded by what we do, what we see, what we listen to, yes. what we take in. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is all based upon this. If you stay in this, yes, sir. then you'll be all right. Amen. Yes. That's what's going to come out of it. Amen. What you put in you is what's going to come out of it. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. I was tired a while ago, now I'm feeling all right. Amen. <laughs> so, so, um, so God required them to be um, obeyed. And he, he told Aaron and them that they were going to be priests under him. That's right. One of the things that God did was he took Aaron. Anybody know who Aaron was? Aaron was his brother. Moses. He was Moses' brother. Moses brother. Oh. He was Moses' brother. Yeah. God took Aaron and he made Aaron, amen, and his descendants, he made them priests unto the Lord. Right? I'm going to show you an act of disobedience. He made them priests unto the Lord. And as he made them priests unto the Lord, their job was to go into the, the temple or into the tabernacle mm -hmm. and take care of the priestly work in the tabernacle. That's right. Now, I told y'all to underline that verse that uh, Sister Latasha read in Exodus 19 and 5. But this is under the law. And at the end of this teaching, I'm going to show you that God did the same today, yesterday, and forever. Mm -hmm. and God doesn't change. Mm -hmm. No. People change. That's right, yeah. yes, sir. But God is still requiring still obedience. Yeah. He's still requiring yeah. holiness. Holy. He's still requiring right. people to obey him. Yes, sir, yes, Pastor. Lord. And so, in the book of, uh, I'm going to show you a priestly duty, and I'm going to show you a king who disobeyed God's commandment. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. In the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 26, and uh, let's see, uh, Sister... Um, Keisha Lake in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 26 2 Chronicles that's after 1 Chronicles yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like that don't you? that was a good time you like that don't you? 2 Chronicles I'm going to show you the importance of being obedient I'm going to show you I'm going to show you what's going to happen verse 16 through 21 I'm going to show you I'm going to show you something yeah David. <laughs> if you can read 16, 17, and 18, then Brother Mark is going to read 19, 20, and 21. Okay? All right. But when he was strong, his heart was lifted up to his destruction. For he transgressed against the Lord his God and went into the temple of the Lord to burn incense upon the altar of incense. So they're talking about King Uzziah. Uzziah. King Uzziah was king at the time, and God was blessing King Uzziah. King Uzziah was mighty, he was strong, he was winning battles. But when he was strong, God made him strong. It used to happen with people. God make them strong, yeah. God bless them, God do something yeah. for them. Uh -huh. He was lifted up in pride yep. uh -huh. toward his own destruction. Yes, pride sir. is the key component to disobedience. It sure is. Man. Pride. Pride. And whenever you have pride, you know pride comes before it's a fall. Sure right? Enough, destruction man. is soon to come. Yep. Right? And so, uh, he was lifted up in the temple and to the Lord to burn incense. So I told you that the Leviticus priesthood, Aaron's descendants, they were supposed to take care of everything in the temple. temple yeah. He was a king. He had no business in the temple. No. So here's what he does. Yeah. Yeah. And Azariah the priest went in after him and with him fourscore priests of the Lord 
Him and 80 priests. Yeah. Our score is 20. Right? Mm -hmm. They were, that right. were valiant men. Mm -hmm. So they went in after them. They want to know what the devil are you doing in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they withstood Uzziah, Uzziah mm -hmm. the king, and said unto him, It appertaineth not unto thee, Uzziah, to burn incense unto the Lord, but to the priests of priests, the sons of Aaron, that are consecrated to burn incense. Go out of the sanctuary, for thou hast trespassed, neither shall it be for thine honor from the Lord thy. Mm -hmm. And so pride uh, uh, would always proceed a fall. And then pride would always allow you to look at you. Mm -hmm. Right? You can only see you when you're a prideful person. You can't see what you're doing. Yes. You can only see the right in you. Yes, sir. You can't see the wrong in, in yourself. You can see the wrong in everybody else. Everybody else. <laughs> but you can't see it in That's you. Right. Amen. right? That's called self-examination. Yes, sir. Right? Mm -hmm. You can't see that because pride is overtaken. So he knew, being the king, that he had no business no. being in the Amen. temple that belonged to the priest. Amen. Yeah. Right? And so, but they told him when they went in there, they said, what are you doing? That you're burning incense. Yes. Get out of the sanctuary, for you had trespassed. Uh -huh. Trespassed. Neither shall be for thy honor uh, uh, from the Lord. God's not getting the glory out of this. Because you are disobeying God's yes, word. Sir. Amen. God already told us. This is for them. From Mark. <clears throat> then Uzziah was wroth and had a censer in his hand to burn with incense. And while he was wroth with, with the priest, the leprosy even rose up in his forehead before the priest in the house of the Lord from beside the incense altar. And Azariah, the chief priest of all the priests, looked upon him, and behold, he was leprous in his forehead, and mm -hmm. thrust him out from thence. Yea, himself cast it also out to go, because the Lord had smitten him. And it was I, the king, was a leper until the day of his death, yep. mm -hmm. and dwelt in a several house, being a leper, when he was cut off from the house of the Lord. And Jotham, his son, was over the king's house, judging the people of the land. Mm -hmm. And so uh, leprosy came on him in the temple. They tried to warn him and tried to tell him, but pride took over him and yes, he sir. disobeyed the law of God. Right? He disobeyed the word of God. And all of a sudden, the priest saw that in his forehead, he began to get leprosy. Yeah. And when he began to get it, they said that they looked upon him yeah. and, it, and they thrust him out from the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. And he himself also hastened to go out because the Lord had smitten him. Yep. Then he saw that judgment was on him. Judgment, here's what I wrote down here. When he, he didn't want to go out of the sanctuary. Uh -huh. He wanted to do the job of yeah. But when he saw that leprosy hit him, he knew that God's judgment was on him. And judgment always has a way to bring you back to reality. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. That's right. That's why he ran out of there. God hit him with judgment. Right? Judgment is what's left from disobedience. Yeah. God is a God of justice and judgment. And so when you disobey God, judgment has to happen. Yeah. I'm telling you. And yes, that's why a lot of times, I hope y'all listening to me, a lot of times people go through things because they're under judgment. Yes, Pastor. Because of their disobeying God. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And you heard me say this before, that what God will do, he knows what to get yes, from sir. you to get your attention. Yes, sir. He sure does. Uh, well, some of us is money. Mm -hmm. And he'll mess with your money. That'll get your attention quick, fast, and hurt. Yeah. Right? he mess with your money. But you're disobeying God. Or it could be your health. Amen. Yes, sir, Pastor. God can cause certain things to happen to make you think about, man, I need to get myself together. That's right. Uh -huh. And so God is a God of mm -hmm. judgment. Yeah. And so the man, now watch this. Here he was king. Mm -hmm. God was blessing him. Pride lifted him up and he disobeyed the word of God. Right? He's king now. With leprosy, he can't even stay in the palace and judge the people. Because leprosy is contagious. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Yeah. Just like sin is contagious. That's right. I'm going to leaven, leaven the whole lot. Yes, sir. Yeah. Good? Yeah, God Almighty. Right? right? It's yeah. contagious. Uh-huh. Right? And that's why you got to be careful who you hang around with. Yes, sir. Amen. It'll eventually crawl all over. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> right? Uh-huh. Uh, the Bible, let me give you some verse. Let me give you a biblical scripture. The Bible says, don't go after an angry man. That's right. And make friends with him. Uh, you know why? Because soon you're going to be angry just like that man. That's right. True. Right. You will. Yep. <laughs> I'm trying, y'all hope y'all listen to me. Yeah. That's the truth. And so, uh, uh, I know one person listened to me anyway. Sister Sierra, I hear you back there. Yeah. And so, and so, uh, uh, pride is a terrible thing. Yes. And to disobey God is a level of pride. Yes, right. sir. All right? Uh -huh. And so then the man, here's what happened. Uzziah the king was a leper until the day of his death. Yeah. And he dwelt in a several house, being a house by itself, being a leper, for he was cut off from the house of the Lord. Uh -huh. Couldn't even go to the nope. temple. Couldn't even get into the presence of nope. God. He disobedient, left him alone and all by that's himself. Right. That's and right. that's how he died. Sure and did. somebody else had to do his job judging the people. Yeah. Because of his disobedience. Wow. Oh, yeah. Right? Yes, yeah, sure. Disobedience is a terrible thing. Sure is. Yeah. Pride is a terrible thing. Yeah. Yes, Pastor. That's what happened to Satan. Satan right. fell into pride. Sure did. And when he saw all that glory going up to God, he said, I want to be like the most high. Yeah. Amen. I would exalt my throne mm -hmm. above the stars of heaven. Yes, sir. And he convinced a third of the angels, angels. to go yep. right along with him. Yep. Yeah. How dumb is that? That's good. <laughs> How dumb is that? Yeah, that's, yeah, Amen. That's way at the bottom. Hey, of Sister Gloria, Sister Hafiella, Sister Sheila. <laughs> Amen. We're talking about being obedient to the word of God. Amen. How many y'all knew this story was in the Bible? Oh, yeah. Y'all got to read your Bible. Yeah. Amen. Obedience. Obedience. See, you got to get in the Word of God. That's right. To see what God is saying. Yeah. Yes. So you can find out whether I'm obedient or not to God. That's right. Because your own mind, oh, I think I'm all right. You think you're right. Oh, you're, not. you're in trouble. Man. Oh, then you're in trouble. Mm. <laughs> Good pastor. <laughs> David says, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. In other words, he didn't take the word, the literal word, and hide it in his heart. He meditated and read the law of God so that he could fulfill the will of God. Amen. Day and night. So he would not sin against God. You've got to get in the book. Amen. To see what the book is saying. You've got to see what the do's and don'ts are in the book. Amen. You've got to. Amen. People of God. When God says don't do something, he means don't do it. Or don't do it. Don't do it. God says, amen. Uh, Lord. When God says, amen, if you destroy this temple, oh. talk about the Holy Ghost, you have. Yeah. The Holy Ghost, where he's at. He's in you. If yes, you destroy right. this temple, I will destroy you. That's a fact. God means that. He sure yeah. does, Pastor. Don't think God don't mean that. Yeah. He means if you destroy this yeah. temple, he'll destroy you. Yes, sir. The Bible also means, says that God will not dwell in an unclean temple. Amen. Nope. Amen. The Bible says God wants to run an unclean temple. Don't you think God's going to stay in an unclean temple? That's right. Yeah. I'm just sticking around there. That's right, Pastor. Amen. When the Word of God says, Amen, that when an unclean spirit goes out of a man, it goes into the dry places yep. to try to seek rest. When it can't find rest, it comes back to the place where it came out of. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to the place, he finds the place swept and garnished. Uh -huh. In other words, the house that he came out of is clean. Yeah. Yeah. But something is missing yes, that was in there, which is gone. Uh -huh. yeah. And the, the demon says, well, now that I see that it is empty, clean and garnished, I'm going to go back and take residence back in it, and I'm going to take seven more demons with me. Sure does. And the Bible said the last state of man is worse than the first. That's right. That is a I know statement. people. I've seen people. Yep. We have lost the spirit yeah. of God. Uh, sure don't let them fool you. You can lose the Holy Ghost. That's right. Oh, yeah. God will get out of you. Yep. 
Yes, he will. He will leave. He's not going to dwell in the unclean temple. Right, Pastor. Amen. Uh, this ain't no Baptist uh, uh, doctrine. Once nope. saved, always saved. No Baptists are alive. Right. You know what? Saved, always saved. That's right. <laughs> and when it comes back, it brings Jesus seven more demons. Yeah. And so you thought you was crazy then. Yeah. Oh, my mom. But seven more, you're really going to be crazy. Yeah. You will. <laughs> so, let me just explain this to you. If the unclean spirit goes out of you mm -hmm. and it comes back into the dry place and it picks up seven more demons mm -hmm. I'm sure listen to them because I don't think y'all think about this mm -hmm. when it picks up seven more demons they're not your demons yeah, man. He, they're demons that are wandering around in the dry places mm -hmm. and when those demons try to come back to somebody they had the Holy Spirit still in them so they couldn't get in there. So they're still looking for a body to they get rest. Wow. And so when that demon that come out of, let's rent, who, who want you, can I use this somebody as an example? Me. You just me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real bad. I'll take one. So Jean said I'm going to use her. So, so when Jean, when Jean came to the Lord, Hallelujah. when Jean came to the Lord, Jean had a problem with cocaine. Mm -hmm. And she was a cocaine addict. She smoked it, shot it, snorted it. In five ways, she didn't get it in her. She, she did it. And so that addiction demon now went out of her. Yes. Uh, she got baptized. She got her vessel clean. She received the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. Now all of a sudden, Jean is hanging around at the club. Right. Uh -huh. And now Jean no, no, uh, no. gets to the point where she's hanging out, and all of a sudden, she meets uh, Freddie, the, 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 the coke head. And, uh, and Freddie offers her a line. Right. And she said, oh, Freddie, I can't do that. And Freddie said, oh, I love you, Gene. And she said, and she does a line. Now, all of a sudden, the line, one line ain't enough. And, and Freddie has it because Freddie got a bags of it on him. And then she goes back to shooting. She goes back to smoking. She goes back to doing it. And all of a sudden, she's out there wild, wide open. Living in the streets and Freddie gone. Amen. Because Freddie then turned something on that had been turned off. Yes, right? sir. The Holy Ghost now is gone. Amen. That's right, Pastor. Right? Yeah. Gene out there doing everything. And the Holy Ghost is gone. And so as a result, yes, I, I'll use you too, Lindsay. And so, and so, Gene. Jean loses the spirit of God. Uh -huh. And as she loses the spirit of God, the uh -huh. man is gone. Jean, Jean is out there wild. And they say, y'all seen young people talk. Y'all seen Sister Jean? <laughs> man, we seen her now Church Street. And, and she got in the car. Boy, she is gone. You don't know how y'all church people do. <laughs> so all of a sudden, that addiction demon that she had when the Holy Spirit goes, comes back and he sees that the Holy Spirit is gone. Mm -hmm. And he sees that swept and garnished. And then uh, uh, that demon says, wait a minute. Uh, I've got, uh, uh, you said I could use you, Brother Pedro? Go ahead. I'm going to use you. Okay. So the demon says, wait a minute, I'm going to take seven more. Oh my God. And we're going to come back. So now she has the cocaine demon. But Pedro, so I can lose him. She has a lesbian homosexual demon oh, that had belonged to Brother Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> and that was, wait a minute, I'm, I'm telling the story here. I'm telling the story. And so, I did, I did. that was out, that was out in the dry place. Now, Brother Pedro has been delivered. He still got the spirit. So that homosexual demon can't come back to him. So that addiction demon goes get that homosexual demon. Right. That's two demons. Right. Then, then, amen, there's a drunken oh, demon out right. there that uh, uh, Brother Mike had. Right. And, uh, and so Brother Mike is full of the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. So that drunken demon goes back out and grabs a hold of the homosexual drunken demon. Sure. Takes the addiction demon and yeah. comes back. Uh -huh. Then, Sister Kaya is a gambling spirit. <laughs> and so she's full of the Holy Ghost, so that gambling spirit goes out and attaches itself with Gene's demon. Yeah. Right? And so then there is a lion demon. Yeah, there is. 
that Sister Latasha had. And she's full of the Holy Ghost. And that lying demon can't come back. And so that Hallelujah. demon that Jean, unclean spirit of Jean, had goes yep. and grabs her demon. Right. And then it goes back and it grabs, amen, the demon of just uh, 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 sexual perversion yeah. that Denise had. Yeah. But Denise is full of the Holy Ghost. And that demon can't come back. And so she got that demon. And so all of those demons come back in the gene. That's right. And then Gene is just a whoremongering, gambling, lying. She's full of demons. Wow. That's right. That's right, yeah. Pastor. She's full of them. Amen. Don't get them. Because yes, she lost what she had. Amen. Yes, sir. She lost what she had. Amen. Yes, we gotta get back in the church. We gotta get back in the God. Gotta stay in God. And we must obey God. Amen. We must obey God. Yeah. That's why, amen, when you step outside the obedience of God, oh my. it's hard yeah. to get anything. It's hard sure, to things work out for you. It's hard. The fight is real. Amen. 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 And if anybody would tell you, you never step down in the will of God, they tell you how hard it is to get yourself together. Yes, yeah. sir, Pastor. Oh, glory. I can give you a, a testimony yeah. how hard it is to get yourself together. Because you open up the door for forces. That's right. And those forces will destroy you. Amen. So Sister yeah. Jean would be loaded. Yeah. She would be lo loaded, Jean. <laughs> so the last state of Jean was worse than the first. Amen. Right. Amen. She got all kind of stuff going on with her now. Wow. Because you got different type of spirits. Amen? Amen. We must obey God. Look at the book of Romans chapter 6. Mm -hmm. Romans chapter 6. Sister Kaya. Verse. Uh, Romans 6 verse 15. And uh, 16. Uh, 15 through 18. Read that. Romans chapter 6. I want y'all to listen to this. We're talking about obedience. Maybe it might be. We can't get the victory. And can't get what we want to get. From God. We should have been far more advanced. Because we're not walking in the stages of obedience. Yeah. We haven't obeyed God. Right. We haven't obeyed God's word. Maybe we obey God. Maybe we obey God's word. Mm -hmm. But next week we're going to talk about obeying them to have the rule over you. Yes, sir. Amen. Maybe you not obey the man of God. That's right. Amen. Right? That's we're going to talk about obeying true. the man of God. That's right. Obeying, That's the disobeying the man of God is just as bad as disobeying That's right. God. Exactly. Amen. Let yep. me just change it up a little bit. Because not every man is a man of God. That's Amen. right. Right? Not every man is a man of God. That's right, Pastor. And if the man of God is telling you something that's in this book. Sir. That's in this book. Yes. And you disobeying what he's telling you in this book, you're disobeying God. That's Amen. right. And here's the difference. Uh, the Bible said that this, 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 in my personal opinion, mm -hmm. this is one of the toughest jobs ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? I can see. Right? Yeah. Because people are stiff necked. They mm -hmm. sure are. And as soon as they'll say, God, I'll do what you want to say, just yeah. like they said back then. Mm -hmm. The good. moment they get an opportunity, oh my. they'll do what they want to do. Sure will. And when the pressure comes on them because they were disobedient to the yep. man of God, then they call in the man of God. They yeah. need help. Can you help? help, you help. No. No. You've been disobedient. That's right, Pastor. Yeah. And judgment has to come on you. Sure yeah. does. Right? Yeah. Right? Because the people, the people don't want to listen to what God is saying. That's good. Amen. Right? Mm -hmm. God is nothing to be blamed with. No. Nope. Amen. Now, so I want you to listen to this in Romans chapter 6. What then shall we sin because we are under the law but under grace? So that was under the law. So some people think we're no longer under the law, we're under God's grace. Uh -huh. So God ain't gonna kill us just like that. God's going to be merciful as grace was doing, yeah. But here's what the Bible says. So we continue in sin, that grace may abound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God forbid. God forbid. Yes. We can't keep sinning and be disobedient just no. because we think we got God's grace. Oh, no. man. That's right, Pastor. God is the same today, yesterday, and forever. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Know ye not. That to whom ye yield yourself servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey. Mm -hmm. Who you ever you obey, that's who you're a servant to. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whether of sin unto death or of, or of obedience unto righteousness. Mm -hmm. But God be thanked 
that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have a, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Mm -hmm. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Thank you, honey. And so, Amen. we can't just hear the gospel. Amen. Mm -hmm. We must obey Amen. the gospel. That's right. Amen. You got to obey God's word. If you're hearing it, and you're not obeying it, then you're disobedient. Amen. The Bible says not just the hearers of the word is justified before God, the but the, the doers. The doers of the word. Mm -hmm. you, you can't hear it and not do nothing with what you hear. That's right. Amen. Right? Amen. That's why when the word of God is coming forth, amen, or the word of God that you read, yes, sir. you must do a self-examination. Yep. Amen. That me, man, maybe that is me. I need to get myself together. Yeah. God, forgive me. That's the first thing I say. God, forgive me. Yes. I repent. God, help me to get it right. Amen. right. Don't look at everybody else and say, that's for uh, them. That's, right. that's what the church people do. Yeah. Amen. The word go for it, oh, that's for them. No, yeah. it's for everybody in here. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Right? It's for you to check. That word might not be for yours. You might not be lying. Uh -huh. You might not be fornicating. Amen. But you're stealing. Yes, yeah. sir. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that word's for you. That's right. Right? And so, and so I've seen it. I've been in this thing a while, Brother Hezekiah. I've seen it. You ever seen it in the church when the preacher's up preaching and he's preaching on, let's say, fornication? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? And that by hollering, yay! Yeah, yay! Yeah, 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 the day ain't fornicating. And then the people who are fornicating, they sitting there like this. <laughs> and they look at them and are cheering them, yeah, preaching, Pastor. And the people that are fornicating, they looking like, I wish they would sit down and sit down. <laughs> They expect the pastor to never get off his fornication. They don't sit down. Right? And then and then the same people are saying, preach the pastor. And then the pastor say, and stop lying. You lied last night, you lied today. Now they lie. So then they turn on the fornicator, but as soon as he hit on lying, they ain't got nothing to say. I've seen them, Miss Gladys. I've seen them try to fake, fake out the preacher. The preacher know that God got him right in the school. And God is about to shoot God. God is locking a load on them. And God is locking a load on them. And they're hollering, yeah, preach it, preach it. That's for them. They're trying to throw everybody off. They can throw offers. Oh, you're in the congregation. The throw offers. Amen. You can't throw me off. That's right. You can't throw me off. Because God has already told me. And so when I bring the word, sometimes on purpose, yeah, sir. I'll look away. Uh-huh. Right? You got it. Sometimes I'll look right at you. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I'm talking to him. Yeah. <laughs> right. And he's thinking, well, Pastor, my well, brother, friend. Old friend. He got friend. No. But then he's starting to feel some kind of way. He said, man, Fred doing the same thing I'm doing. <laughs> That's right? Good. That's good, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> we must obey God. Yes, Pastor. Yeah. We got to obey Him. I want you to listen to this. I want you to listen to this what my wife just read. And so we just can't hear God obey it. Notice it says this in verse 17. But thank, but God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin. That's right. But ye have obeyed. Obey. Somebody say obeyed. Obeyed. Obey. From the heart. That form of doctrine. Yes. What was the form of doctrine? It was the, the gospel. Doctrine. The word of God. Yes, sir. Right? You got to, you obeyed the word of God. Yes, sir. Right? And you obeyed it <coughs> from the heart. Yeah. And it delivered you. Yes, sir. When you obeyed it. Right? Mm -hmm. It worked. So, uh, the first thing has to happen. Notice that uh, your heart has to be in this for you to obey yes, God. Sir. Uh, your heart's got to be right. When your heart is right, you will obey the word of God. Amen. When your heart yes. is geared towards pleasing God, yes, I just Amen. want to please God. That's it. Right? I want to please God. Yes, sir. Amen. When your heart is right towards pleasing God, you obey it. Yes. Let me give you a prime example. He ain't here tonight, but I'll use him as a prime example because uh, uh, he, won't, he wouldn't mind if I did. And so when Brother Malik first came to the church, Brother Malik had that... Uh, that man bun turned into a woman bun, right? <laughs> and so, and so, when you deal with people, you have to use wisdom. Yes, sir, Pastor. Now, 
I've been in this for a long time. I know the Bible says it's a shame for a man to have long hair. That's right. It's a shame. Man. Right? And so if I had told him that when he first started coming trying to find out who Jesus was, he would have left. Sure right. would, man. Because yeah. he liked his hair. He wanted to cut his hair. Right? And so I, 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 I let him, and people were looking. Man, you know, I imagine some people were talking. You know what I mean? But, uh, but uh, I dealt with him yes. as a uh, pastor to a brother. That's right. And showed him love. Right. Yep. right? And then now I've got to turn him towards God so that he loves God. That's right, Pastor. And when he gets the Holy Ghost, oh, yeah. he's going to love God. Right. That's right. Right? And when he starts to love God, then when I show him the scripture, because he, he loves God, cut his hair. He's going to be obedient. That's right. Yep. Why? Because he wants to obey God. That's right, Pastor. And he wants to obey God's word. Amen. Right? But a lot of times when people come into church, they y'all, uh, not y'all, for instance, not us here, but people run them out of the church. Sure do. Because they're so worried about them looking like them and acting like them before they get a relationship that they love God. That's right, Pastor. You've got to get the people first to love God. That's right. And the only way you can love God, yeah. God's got to put his love in you. Amen, Pastor. That's right. That's wisdom. The Bible said he that went of souls is wise. And so some people say, yeah, but his hair is long, man. He need to cut their hair. <laughs> Leave him alone. That's right. Leave him alone. Amen. Let him get full of God. Amen. Let her get full of God. Yes, Pastor. Amen. Let them get full of God. That's right. Amen. Then you know how to deal with people. And when you love God, you're going to obey this. That's right. Amen. Pastor. Amen. I obey this because I love God. That's right. And I want to please God. Amen. Amen. I want to please God more. I want to please Amen. my wife. Amen. Amen. Yes. She wants to please God more. She wants to please me. Amen. I want to please God. Yes. I want to please God. I want to please God. I want to please God. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. So you don't have to tell people, uh, God to do this, God to do this. Once you love the Lord. That's right. And you fall in love with Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. And you realize Amen. it was his grace and mercy yes. that delivered you and brought you That's through. right. That's yeah. the only thing. Yeah. Yeah. Until you learn to love God, Amen. you're going to struggle with obeying God. It yes. comes from the heart. Good, Come man. from the heart. Amen. You got to love him. Got to. Got to. When you love him. If you love, you love your wife. You gonna go out. You gonna. You want to please her. That's right. Right, Marcus. Amen. If you love her, you want to please her. Yeah. She loves you. She want to please you. She want to do what's pleasing to you. That's right. She 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 loves you. She ain't gonna come home and and and, and do nothing to please you. She ain't gonna take a pork chop and burn it up and fry it and throw it at you. Walk through the door. Here, there you get her. Here it is. Whoa. That ain't, pleasing, that, that ain't pleasing to him. <laughs> that ain't pleasing to him. <laughs> See, in the church, yes, <laughs> this blows my mind. In the church, I, 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 it goes beyond me, Brother Hezekiah. It goes beyond yes. this. That leaders and people in the church will try as hard as they can to get people to love them. That's right. Instead of right. pointing the people towards God. Jesus right. to love the Lord. That's right, Pat. Because people will never love you like they love Jesus. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You can forget it. That's right. You can forget it. You're wasting your time. That's right. Try to convince somebody to love you that you the cats me out and the dogs bow out. Right? I learned a long time ago to point the people to Jesus. Amen. Because right. when you love Jesus, Amen. you're going to give you gonna tie. Oh yeah. You gonna do what you want for oh, the Lord. Oh yes, man. Amen. You gonna do what you want. You gonna follow the Lord. Amen. Yes, yeah, Sister Teresa. Amen. You want to please God. Amen. That's why we go. That's why we sacrifice. Because we want to please God. Yes, we man. know Amen. that you can't please God by being disobedient. Right. And in every disobedience, right. there's a price to pay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You ask David. Every time he disobeyed God, he paid a price. Boy, did he. <laughs> Sin is a price. Even after God forgives you, there's a price. And yes. you have to pay in the name of the Lord. Amen. Am I with you? Amen. Amen, Pastor. Amen. Yeah. We obey his word because we love him. Amen. Just a man in the book of Luke chapter 11. Luke chapter 11, verse 27 and 28. Amen. I want to teach you to how to fall in love. I want to encourage you. 
to fall in love with Jesus. Yes, Pastor. Amen. Luke chapter 11 is the best thing that ever happened. Amen. In his arms, I feel protected. Luke. <laughs> Never disconnected. Gene will sing for y'all before we leave. Luke chapter 11, verse 27 to 28. Amen. Nice, this Gene. I want you to listen to this. You ready? Y'all listen to it. And it came to pass, as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bear thee, and the patch which thou hast sucked. So she's talking about Mary, mm -hmm. who birthed Christ. So she said, she's blessed, right? Because her womb buried you, and her breast, her patch, her breast, mm -hmm. you sucked from and got nourished. Mm -hmm. But here's what Jesus said. But he said, ye rather blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Yes, they're the ones that are blessed. Amen. Those that hear the word of God, that word keep it means to obey it. Mm -hmm. That's the blessed ones. You want to be blessed? Don't only hear the word of God, but do it. Amen. Obey it. Amen. Keep it. No matter what God says, do it. If it's in the book, do it. Amen. Keep it. Amen. Because if you go outside of that, yes, you're going to pay a price. Boy, that's the truth. Right? Yes. And, so, and so these stages of obedience, yes, sir. I guarantee you, we'll be done. We'll be done in a couple of weeks. You should maybe look back over your life. Yes, sir. And you should say, if I'm in these stages, if I'm obedient to God's word, I'm obedient to God, I'm obedient to his word, I'm obedient to what the man of God is preaching, I'm obedient to what the man of God is saying, and there's a few other stages. And then you should say, then why is God withholding anything from me? He will not withhold anything yeah. from them that walk right before him. That's right. So That's maybe right. it's that God is withholding it because you're walking in disobedience in one of these stages. Yes, sir. Amen. That's good, Pastor. Amen. Could it be? Yep, that's good. God's not going to bless disobedience. I don't care what stage you're in. No nope. man. Right? God's not going to bless disobedience. No way. Disobedience brings a curse. Sure does. Obedience brings a blessing. Yep. Amen. Right? Now, I heard somebody say the other day, uh, you know, I, I just was going through, I, I very rarely get on Facebook other than do, doing my little thing on there. And uh, sometimes I go through there and something will catch my eye, catch my attention. And I heard somebody talking about how that they were talking about the uh, the uh, the uh, lion when Samson uh, killed the lion, and then there was honey that came out of the belly of the lion. Uh -huh. Yeah. And the preacher was saying that God's gonna he killed the lion with nothing in his hand. And the preacher was saying, it sounds good. The preacher was saying, God's getting ready to give you something sweet with nothing in your hand. God gonna give it to you with nothing in your hand. In other words, he was saying, God get ready to bless you with nothing in your hand. Right? And so that's a misconception. Yes, sir. To make you think that God's gonna bless you with something because you got nothing. God's not gonna bless you with something because you got nothing. The only reason God's going to bless you with something when you got nothing is because you've been obedient, obedient to God. That's right. So you make people think that God will give you something and you can yes, still sir. walk in disobedience. Oh, yes, uh, yeah. Amen. And so it sounded yeah. good when he said it. Yeah. It sounded good. Yeah. Yeah. I said, oh, this is ridiculous. I turned it off, man. It's cool. <laughs> this is cool. That's right. Because right? mm -hmm. it's leading people astray. Yes, sir. Yeah. To make people think that you can disobey God, his word, be blessed, the man no of way. God, and still be blessed. No the way. devil is a lie. You're not blessed. There's no way. That's right. You're not blessed. I guess nope. in a sense, you blessed that he ain't killed you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be a blessing there. <laughs> Those That's that hear the said. word and do it. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Deacon Fred, in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 3 through 5. And then uh, after that, uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. And then uh, Denise and Hezekiah are going to share that 6 through 10. But uh, in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, and I want to show you something. Talk about obedience, obeying the word of God. Obeying the word of God. If I tell Sister Natalie, Sister Natalie, the Lord says in the word of God that you've got to do this, and Natalie says, shucks, I ain't got to listen to the pastor. I ain't, ain't God, he ain't yeah. God. Yeah. I ain't got to listen to him. He's just my brother. Yeah. I ain't got to listen to him. We're going to talk about obeying the man of God Amen. next week. Amen. I'm going to pull you up on that one. <laughs> Amen. Right in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, 
For though we walk in the flesh, and we do not war after the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of the strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Mm -hmm. and, having, it. and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Yeah, and so I want you to know here that, that, that Paul writes and tells the church at Corinth, he says that you've got to cast out imaginations, everything that's also something against the knowledge of God, and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of God. Amen. Your thoughts. Thoughts. Hallelujah. Have to the thought. Up. Maybe yeah. our thoughts are messed up. God Maybe certainly knows thoughts your thoughts are far off. Yeah. Maybe what we're thinking on ain't right. That's right, Amen. Pastor. Uh, even your thoughts have to obey God. Yes, word. sir. Amen. Your thoughts. Amen. God knows your thoughts. Yes, sir. Are far off. Can't hide behind a rock, no sir. Are your thoughts important to God? There are. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. There are. Here's the first time I knew Sister Latasha that God knew my thoughts. I had gotten out of the hospital where I shattered my pelvis in three places and dislocated my hip. They told me I'd never walk again. Mm -hmm. And I was living over on a, a pro was that Progress Road, with Keon and Bev, over there in Princess Anne, and. Uh, I had gotten up and I was hurting and I got up and uh, after a period of time I went to get in the bathtub to take a bath. So I knew first knew God know my thoughts. And when I'm laying in the bathtub, I realize that I'm no longer hurting. Yes, sir. Man. The pain is gone. Mm -hmm. And I thought in my mind, God's gonna heal my body. And when I thought that in my yes. mind, the glory of God fell yes. in that bathtub. Yes, yes, yes. He knew what I was thinking. Yes, sir. That he's healing That's right. my body. Yes, Amen. Pastor. Amen. And the glory came down in that yes. bathtub. And he said, oh, yeah, I healed your That's body. Right. Amen. And I was throwing water everywhere in that bathtub. Yeah. He's yeah. in the Lord. That's right. Yeah. That's the first instance that I knew that God yes. knows my thoughts. Amen, Pastor. Amen. Hallelujah. So, for instance, I don't want to use you. I use you already. <laughs> Sister Keisha, I use her. She won't get mad at me. <laughs> for instance, Sister Keisha's riding to work, and as she riding to work, Amen. She got a Christian music on in her car. On the motorcycle, right? But yet, in her mind, she's thinking about this man that came on her job that she saw. <laughs> and in her mind, she's visualizing this man with his shirt off. He all buff. <laughs> and she's driving. And he's on her mind. <laughs> and all of a sudden, bam! Car got to blow because she's in the wrong lane. <laughs> Don't you know God knows what you're thinking? That's right, Pastor. <laughs> God, help my mind. Yeah, yeah. Help my mom. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's good, Pastor. I really got to know what you're thinking. When I, like I said, that night I sat on the edge of my bed and I thought out loud, God, if you take this away from me tonight, I'll let, take this drink away from me. I'll serve with you always. The next day, God knew my thinking. The next day, I wouldn't drink. Amen. That's awesome. Amen. 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 He knows your thoughts. He knows what you think. He sure does. He knows what you can do before you do it. That's right. Right. You cut your eyes around the corner, <laughs> and you thinking, man, look at that. <laughs> yeah, God already knows. That's right. That's good, Pastor. God already knows. Let me look around in here. <laughs> if they're guilty, Lord, bring a cloud over their head so I can see. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> to obey the word of God is to obey Jesus. Amen. Which is to obey God. Yes. Amen. To obey the man of God is to obey Amen. the word of God, which is to obey Jesus, yes. which is to obey God. Amen. It's all connected. 
It sure right. is, Pat. You can't get away from it. No way. It's no. all connected. Right? Mm -hmm. So you can think, amen, that you're getting away with something. Yeah. Yeah. But what you're work. doing is you're blocking yourself from being blessed. That's right. Yeah. And what you're doing is that God has a set time. Yeah. When all that you're doing in your disobedience, yeah. God will bring forth judgment. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Well. Amen. All right. Okay. Sure. In the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 1, and Brother Hezekiah is going to read verses 6, 7, and uh, 8, and Denise is going to read 9 and 10. Amen. There we go. Uh, Second Thessalonians after First Thessalonians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's right after, yeah. <laughs> Not before. No. <laughs> it's, right at, it's on page twelve fifty eight. Second Thessalonians, mm -hmm. chapter one, and you're gonna read <laughs> six, seven, and eight, and then Denise's gonna read nine and ten. Right. Mm hmm Seeing it is righteous thing with God to recompense. Recompense. Recompense retribution to them that trouble you, mm -hmm. and to you that are judged, rest with us, when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Amen. Eight, you got eight, got you eight got two. nine and ten. Oh. And a flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God, uh -huh. and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, he's taking fiery vengeance on them that know not God and on them that obey not the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> Flame and fire. Okay, ready to eat? Yeah. Who what? Who shall be punished, punished with everlasting destruction, destruction. For the, from the presence of the Lord. And from the glory of the power. You're going to be banished away from God. Yes, sir. Same thing that happened to Adam and them in the yep. garden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Amen. Amen. So don't, don't tell me that obeying God is not important. Amen. Amen, Amen Pastor. That's Amen. right. When he come back. <laughs> he come back looking for them that obey him. That's right. Those who are looking for him. Amen. This ain't no playing game. No game. Amen. Amen. This thing here's for real. Amen, right. Pastor. He's coming back for those who obey the gospel. That's right. Did what he said to do. Right? Do what obey it. It's 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 fundamentally, fundamentally, the the the, the fundamental aspect of salvation. It's repentance, water baptism, in the name of Jesus Christ, and being filled with the Holy Ghost. Right. But after that, that's right. you've got to live and obey oh, God's word. Amen. amen. Right? Yeah. A lot of people think, okay, now that I got the Holy Ghost, I've got baptized, and I've oh. arrived. Nope. No, ain't none of us arrived. That's right. I ain't even arrived. That's ain't right, none of us made it. Nope. We've got to continue in the faith. That's right. Amen. Being grounded and rooted and not removed from the that's hope right, of this pastor. call. Amen. amen. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You got to continue on with yes. God. You got to follow God. Amen. Paul says, Demas had forsaken me. Yes. Having loved this present world. Demas was a born again believer That's right. that followed Paul. But he gave up and loved the world more than he loved following yes. God. Amen. Amen. I got one more scripture. We're going to go home. In the book of, uh, I think it's, uh, let me see here. First, first Peter. Brother Mike can read that. I got it up there. Yes. First Peter, chapter uh, 1, and verse 22. And then after he reads verse 22, who hadn't read it here? Who wants to read? Now, okay. After he reads verse 22, then I want you to uh, read uh, verse uh, chapter 2 of First Peter, verse uh, 4, 5, and 6. And then Gene's going to read 7, 8, and 9. And we're going on. Ready? Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Saying you have purified your soul in obedience the truth to the spirit and to and feign love of the brethren, see that ye love one another with pure heart fervently. Yes, seeing you have purified your souls and abandoned the truth through the spirit. So obedience cleanse your soul. Amen. You purify your soul through obedience. Jesus Christ was obedient all the way to death, even the death of the cross. Amen. Wherefore God had highly exalted him 
Amen. Give him a name that's above everything. Above every name. That's right. He was obedient all the way to death. Yes, Pastor. Even when he didn't want to die, he was obedient. He Not was. thy will, but thy will be done. Not my will be over, but he was obedient. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. You Pastor. can sit in the church, yes. hallelujah, clap your hands, speak in tongues, run right around the church, yeah. shout. Kick rocks, fall out, flip, uh, yeah. run around the parking lot, amen, yeah. trip over somebody, hoop and hollow, amen, yeah. hallelujah, amen, on, and still walk in disobedience. Come on, Pastor. Yeah. God ain't getting the glory out of none of that. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen, Pastor. That's right. Amen. We've got to move to another level of his glory. Amen. And the only way we can get that is by obeying God. If God says, amen, pray without ceasing, good God Almighty, right. you got to pray. Amen. If God say fast, you got to fast. Amen. If God said meditate on his word, amen, you should read a scripture in the morning when you get up after you pray. Amen. Amen. And you who work, drive long distances. Brother Pedro, you drive somewhere away over there in Delaware. Yeah. You have to have, you yeah. have to have, amen, the word of God. Amen. In your mind that you read the scripture. Yep. And you ought to be meditating when you go to work. Right, you ought to be driving, yeah. meditating on the word. Yep. David said, the word of God is a lamp unto my feet yeah. and a light unto my path. Yeah. If I'll just think on the goodness of the Lord, Amen. he'll illuminate my path. Yes, sir. Uh, he said, the steps of a good man are ordered Amen. by the Lord. Amen. Amen. Order my steps in your word. Meditate upon the word yes, when you're driving. Keep your mind on God. Yes. Amen. You can't keep your mind on God and Tupac at the same time. Amen. Listen to that food just on the radio. And talk about you spiritual. You ain't spiritual. That's right, Pastor. Amen. Huh. You ain't. You can't be spiritual. You uh, got junk coming in your trunk from one way, and junk coming in your body is confused. Amen. Sure is, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Amen. Cool. Oh, well. Yeah. Quiet here now. I come love on, it when it's quiet. I love it when it's quiet. Hey, come on, Pastor. I'll shut it all down. Yeah. Tupac dead. Who is yeah. Jesus yeah. died and rose again on the oh, third day with all power. Yeah. Where'd you get your power from? That's right. Biggie got shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they crucified Jesus. He said, destroy this temple in three days and I get back up again. He did. Amen. I won't be meditating on Jesus. Amen. Somebody got some power to do something. That's right. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Yeah, Pastor. That's right. Now, now, listen to me because next week we're talking about obeying the man of God. Amen. Because you hear what I just said. Right. Now, I got Bible to back it up. That's right. I got Bible to back up everything I said. Amen, Pastor. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Who, who got First Thessalonians? Who, who, who? Second Thessalonians. Second Peter. 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 Y'all get that. Four, 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 five, and six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got seven through nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Coming to him as coming to him as a living stone. Rejected indeed by man, but chosen by God and precious. You also, as a living stone, are being built up as a spiritual house, mm -hmm. a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices. Yes. Acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Yes. Yeah. Therefore, it is also contained in the scripture. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Who's next? For the scripture says, I chose a valuable stone which I am placing as the cornerstone in Zion, and whoever believes in him will never be disappointed. This stone is of great value for you that you believe, but for those who do not believe, the stone which the builders rejected as worthless turned out to be the most important of all. And another scripture says, this is the stone that will make people stumble, the rock will make them fall. They stumble because they did not believe in the word. My Bible said disobedience. That just didn't believe the word, they're disobedient. Mm -hmm. Such as God's will for them. Verse 9, but you are the chosen race, the king's priests, the holy nation, God's own people, chosen to proclaim the wonderful acts of God, who called you out of darkness into his own marvelous light. Amen. Amen. Now remember, I told you to underline Exodus 19 and 5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is. Because Exodus 19 and 5 says the same thing yep. that Peter says in the New Testament church. Yes, sir. Right? Amen. 
that those who disobeyed God, yeah. they couldn't get anything from God. That's right. But those who did, there are chosen, chosen generation, priest. a royal priesthood. Yeah. So what are you saying, preacher? What I'm saying is the same God in Exodus yeah. 19 told them to obey them, and they shall be a chosen, peculiar people yeah, for him. It's the same God that spoke through Peter and said, if you obey him, wow. you are a royal priesthood and a royal nation. Wow. He's still looking for wow. obedience. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we're going to go home, but now, because I think some of y'all in here uh, with your rap music think that I'm playing around. But, I, but in the book of Colossians, chapter 3, in the book of Colossians, chapter 3, everything I say, I can back it up with scripture. That's right, man. Yeah. With scripture. In the book of Colossians, chapter 3, everything I say, I can back it up with the word of God. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. With the word. In the book of Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 16, Brother Pedro, read that for me. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Yes. That's right. Teaching and astonishing one. Admonishing. In psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Yes. Amen. Singing. Let the word of God dwell in you richly. Amen. Get full of the word. Yep. Right? In all wisdom. All wisdom. Teach it and admonish one another in psalm. The psalms of David. Talking about psalm. Mm -hmm. Hymns. Mm -hmm. And spiritual songs. Oh, yep. Amen. So if you're going to listen to music, it has to be spiritual. That's right. Mm -hmm. Singing with grace in your hearts uh -huh. to the Lord. Yeah. Wow. Who are we singing to? The Lord. Lord. The Lord. That's right. Right? right. The music you listen to must bring glory Amen. to the Lord. Yes. Spiritual songs. That's right, Pastor. Hallelujah. Not rap songs. Amen. Not country western. Oh, Betty fell down and Betty died. <laughs> Got Betty in my arms and bye bye bye. From spiritual song. <laughs> spiritual song. It's <laughs> good, Pastor. Amen. Spiritual song. Yes. Amen. That's right. That's what it says. Amen. Not Beethoven. Spiritual song. Amen. Not Usher. Spiritual song. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Turn off the lights and light a candle. Spiritual song. Yes, sir, Pastor. That's why some of y'all can't obey God because you got a lot of music in your mind. Amen. That it ain't God. What you got, buddy? All right. Good. Say spiritual song. <laughs> Tell them, Johan. Spiritual song. He says, uh huh. Look at you that. can't convince Look me that you're pastor. spiritual. You listen to that jump. <laughs> you're disobedient to the word of God. That's right, Pastor. Ain't no spirits about that. Nope. Well, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm just relaxing. <laughs> I got 400 pounds on this bar here. <laughs> <laughs> I just need a little more juice. I just huh? need a little push. Yeah. <laughs> push, push it real good. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, no. Nah. There ain't no spiritual about that. Yeah, the devil is a liar. Yeah. Good pastor. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. yeah. Glory. Yeah. 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 I'll shut it all down. Amen. 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 Read that. Let the word of God yes. dwell in your heart. Richly. 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 In all wisdom. Yeah. Teaching and admonishing one another in song, hymns, yeah. that's a conjunction there, songs, and hymns, yeah. and yeah. spiritual yeah. songs. Yeah. The songs must be spiritual. Yeah. The yeah. hymns yeah. must be spiritual. And the songs yeah. must be spiritual with grace in your heart to the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Period, point, blank, case closed. Amen. 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 That, that too hard to understand? Mm -hmm. My phone died on me? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Spiritual song. So you disobedient. That's good, Pastor. That's why you can't walk in the fullness of the anointing. So good, Pastor. Amen. That's why you can't get from God what you need. That's right. Amen. And you're giving glory to something else but God. Yeah. Only God glory. gives the glory. You ever, right, you ever, y'all, y'all hear when Brother Chris did that teaching about worldly music? Uh -huh. yep. And how that music in itself, That's right. uh, Satan, 
uh, uh, was the worshiper in heaven? Sure. Uh, he and he said this, it blew my mind because I never thought about it. That you notice that how music, amen, will influence your life. Mm -hmm. It even influenced a cobra. Mm -hmm. sure does. When you see those people playing the pipes to the cobra, and that cobra come out of that basket like this, yes. and then it'll hypnotize them. And that cobra do like that. Yeah. Hypnotized by the music. That's what music does. Has an influence over your yes, life. Sir, Has an influence yeah. over your life. And people just think nonchalantly that they can go around bebop and hip hop nope. and no do whatever right. they want. You're bringing in chunk, chunk in your spirit. You're disobedient to the word of God. That's right. That's why nothing don't work. I'm trying to figure out where is it at. It's the anointing. You got to be obey God. Amen. You obey God, He'll anoint you. He sure will. Obey God. Amen. I remember. I remember one time I disobeyed God. He wouldn't anoint me. Hmm. He won't anoint you. Uh uh. He won't anoint you. Mm -hmm. You want the anointing? You start Amen. obeying God's That's word. Right. Amen. Amen. That's you right. Start obeying God's yeah. word. Get in the book. Cut off that foolishness. Uh, glory. Amen. Allow God to bless you. Amen. If you're going around and you listen to something else other than music glorifying God, mm -hmm. you're disobeying the word That's of God. Right. Amen. Help you. You need to think to be disobedient. Yes. Whatever moves you. But you've heard it. I read it to you. That's right. Well, such and such are doing it. That's why they ain't that's why they ain't got it. Amen. They allowed them to do it over there. You must go over there. <laughs> Follow that them. way is yeah. a high way to help. That's right. I'm going to follow them. Hell. You got to obey. Amen. If it's in the book, you got to obey. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 So what was that song you were singing? <laughs> you were singing it too. I was just oh. I, I forgot. It was a spiritual song. <laughs> that was you talking about. You're laughing, but it was a spiritual song. I don't, I don't mess with worldly music. No, I don't mess with worldly music. I don't mess with worldly music. Falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus. Right. It's a song. It's a song. Because see, I know what worldly All music do. Yeah. Amen, Pastor. So I know what to do. I'm singing "Falling in Love with Jesus." That's right. Amen. Amen. The best thing that ever happened to me. Right? I fell in love with Jesus. That's right, Pastor. When you fall in love with Jesus, you oh, obey Jesus. Sure do. The Bible says the way of a transgressor is hard. Amen. And the only thing you're you're, you're doing is is making excuses for yourself. Yeah. Amen. But we get enough word Hallelujah. here. That's right. And this is simple. Yes, we do. We get enough word here to follow God. Yes, we do, Pastor. Amen. And so your life will change only if you follow the Lord. Amen. And obey Him. That's what right. you like to change? Clean up our act. Yes. Obey Amen. God. Yeah. And you'll see God do wonderful things. Amen. 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 Yes. Yeah. 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 You got to make it in. Now come on, Gene. Gene, and carry us out. See a couple bars of this song. Falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus. Falling Blessing I've ever 